Hi, this is Mr. Walden, and I'm going to show you how to make a Spinosaurus out of paper mache. When you make your dinosaur, you can use whatever supplies you have at your house. Use all the kind of junk, recycled materials, um, soda bottles, anything you have. I'm using um, these toilet paper rolls and tape and tin foil for mine. First, you're going to make your armature. An armature is what holds everything up. It's what's inside the sculpture. Kind of like your skeleton is an armature for your body. There's not one right way to make an armature for paper mache. Use what you have. I'm using tape because I don't have my glue gun because it's at school. But you can use a glue gun if you wanted to. You could use string. You could get, use any number of different ways to attach different kinds of junk together to make your armature. I looked at some pictures before making my Spinosaurus. When making an armature, it's really about thinking about the shapes and forms of the different body parts and just attaching those. Again, there's no one right way to do it. Get creative with it. Sometimes one idea doesn't work and you've got to change your plan. I did that several times while making my Spinosaurus. I really like using wire or tin foil when I make my armatures because it bends and stays, and it's easy to make smaller parts with it. If you don't have them, use whatever you have. Use cardboard, use anything. It's all fair. Here is my armature. If you just want to make a recycled materials dinosaur for this project, that's fine with me. But if you want to challenge yourself, Let's do some paper mache. One easy way to make paper mache paste is with just flour and water. I might do this outside because it can get messy. You can use things like glue or liquid starch for paper mache too. I personally like the flour and water. I think it makes a big, strong, durable sculpture when it's done. But use whatever you have. Keep mixing it until it's very smooth. It should be about the consistency of pancake batter. After that, we're going to soak some paper strips. I used brown paper shopping bags for mine. You can also use newspaper. Just make sure you're not using the glossy kind of newspaper. Soak your paper strips in your paper mache paste and then pinch them with your fingers and squeegee off the extra stuff and just put it all over your armature. You might have to smooth it in. Take your time. You want about two or three layers of it over the entire thing. I sometimes have several layers soaking in the paper mache paste ready to be put on. Again, this might be something you want to do outside if you're using flour, because it can get messy. But I promise the paper mache paste will wash out of your clothes. Again, take your time, cover the whole thing, and don't get discouraged if some pieces fall off. That happens to all of us. It happened to me several times while making this. Continue applying paper mache until you've covered the entire thing. If you've got to stop and let parts of it dry, that's fine. I did that. If you are going to stop and you want to save the paper mache paste, you have to keep it in the refrigerator or else it may mold. You can also put a little bit of salt in it. It's not going to last more than a couple days, though. Sometimes it's better if you just make little bits of it for when you need that day. You can see that I made my whole dinosaur just a little Tupperware full of this stuff. So you don't need to overdo it. Taking a little bit of time and making it smooth now will make it a lot easier to paint. Usually shortcuts in art end up being long cuts and it takes you even longer because you have to do stuff over. So. Mm. 
remember, make sure you go over it at least two or three times. But even more is fine too. The more layers you have, the stronger your sculpture will be when it's finished. I let mine dry and then went back later and hit all the spots that I missed the first time around. When you're finished, set it up exactly like you want it to dry, and it'll be a much stronger once it dries. You're probably going to have to let it dry overnight before you can paint. Now, nobody really knows what color dinosaur skin really was. Most scientists even think they had feathers. So you can get kind of creative when you paint Take time painting it. Make sure you hit all the little spots. This is really where how smooth you put on the paper mache paper matters. The smoother you put it on, the easier it is to paint. A lot of times when I paint these things, I paint one big base layer coat of paint and then go back for the details once that is dry. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy making these as much as I did.